a rare and disturbing glimpse into a state on the verge of collapse. A hospital in Bangui, one of the only functional facilities, paints a disturbing picture of a state in turmoil. The widespread violence and lawlessness which have taken root have forced essential services employees like the police and medical staff to abandon their posts. This healthcare facility was once a major medical hub, serving the capital and surrounding areas. But now, literally everything is in short supply. The facility can't even prioritize the most vulnerable in society, women and children. The situation is so dire that officials have no choice but to demand payment up front and they will accept anything they can get their hands on. I gave the hospital my phone as a security deposit in exchange for blood until I can afford to repay. For those who cannot afford to pay and for the critically ill or wounded, the hospital has now become a place to die. A horrific end. Meanwhile, the violent clashes in the northeast of the country continue. This has sparked a humanitarian crisis affecting an estimated 4.6 million people. We have received over a thousand new patients since March and we continue to receive new cases. Most of these patients have been traumatized by what they have seen and heard in this country since the rebels took over. The United Nations is reporting ongoing massacres of women and children. Meanwhile, the rebels who brought Michel Jodotia into power have turned against him. They claim he has failed to honor promises he made when they joined his rebellion to unseat ex-president Francois Bozizé in March. In its frustration, Seleka rebels have turned their guns on a helpless population. With no credible state security force to protect them, the most vulnerable are suffering. Dumala Mohlaud, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.